Oh. <clears throat> hey guys, welcome to the channel. Chainsaw Matt here. Today, we're going to be showing you what not to do with your chainsaw. Here we have an MS661C, it's an Mtronic. This is the second time that this chainsaw has been rebuilt. The reason being is the chain is way too dull. Needs a major sharpen, and the bar has a really big lip on it. Well, maybe not really big, but it's big enough to catch in the wood. So we're going to show you how this thing cuts with this terrible, terrible chain. see if you keep pushing the saw something's gonna give most likely the top end or chainsaw we're gonna show you how it should cut in the next video hey guys welcome to the ch you gotta turn it sideways man you got turn it sideways no other way turn it sideways Okay, so this particular chain is what I call a skip chain. Some people refer to it as a skipping chain or a skip chain. Um, typically, there's a tooth, a cutter tooth, um, every other drive tooth. But with this one, it actually skips two teeth and then there's a cutter. Um, not really sure the biggest benefit of this chain um, they are much faster to sharpen because there's less teeth, but they dull quicker. A um, little bit faster cut um, because there is less teeth, so it gives the saw a little bit, a um, little bit of time to catch up. Um, as you can see, if I can get my phone to focus, this this chain is it's in pretty pretty rough shape. It doesn't look like it's hit anything. It's just dull. Um, needs to be sharpened we're going to sharpen this um wouldn't hurt to take the drag down as well but we don't do that here in the shop just for liability because it messes with the kickback <clears throat> um, another thing that's keeping this from pulling through the wood is there's an edge on this bar the edge the lip actually catches in the wood and keeps it from pulling through like it should. Um, we're gonna take our grinder and grind this bar, um, what I call dressing the bar. Get that back in shape, sharpen the chain, and we'll show you how good this chainsaw can and should cut. Safety first, guys. Thank you. 
Okay, so this particular sharpener is a steel USG. This does the hedge trimmers as well as the chainsaw chains. Uh, this is a 36 inch bar. Um, we'll show you how we set it up. Ponzio, can, can you move out of the way? Oh, my bad, bro. Thank you, sir. Okay. Focus. I don't understand. Now it's too high. Push that down right here. <laughs> John, can you help a customer at the front? Or anyone? No. I'll just bring a tripod for you. Get rid of the redneck stuff. Okay. So we're going to adjust this just a little bit. Okay. That's pretty much it. To do that all the way around it takes about five, six minutes. That's it. Making so many sparks. It's okay. Now we're just going to switch sides here. That's my cameraman sometimes. He works for monsters. And bangs. And bangs. He may have a slight problem. Somebody says he has a heart condition now. All right, so we got our chain good and sharpened up here. Got our bar filed down as well let's see how it cuts this is actually a 32 inch bar i thought it was a 36 
That's how it's supposed to cut. It's all in your beard. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Follow my Instagram. Oh, that's it. You can cut it. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What are you doing? I'm about to crank this saw. No, 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 Matt, stop. That That's not how you do You need to turn it or think about it. Turn it around. Oh, you're right. Okay. Yeah. There we go. No, 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 safety first, there you go. It's snowing! Hey buddy, you want to talk about what we learned today? Well, I learned the proper way to start a chainsaw. Uh, I learned that the 661 is a pretty bad saw. Uh, and keep your chain sharp. That's right, keep your chain sharp. Because if you don't, you'll be coming to see me to get it rebuilt. Hey, leave that alone. It might bite you. Bye, y'all.